bro, when I was literally like 16, bro. I I wrote that when I had a pen when I was 16. You don't have a pen. <laughs> you don't have a pen. That's the thing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. What's happening? Welcome back to another installment on the corner where we talk all things music. What are you looking at me for? I don't know. You looked at me. Yeah. He's a <laughs> the boys is back in the building for another lovely review. I know you appreciate our reviews. And on this week, uh, H Town, we're going to Buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> H Town, what? I don't know why he said H Town. Why? I was it's, listening to H Town before we started the uh, podcast. Like knocking the boots? Knocking them. Yeah. What? Yeah. One of the best CDs ever. All right. This week, we're going to be reviewing Benny the Butchers. Everybody butcher can't go. It's the Butcher, nigga. The Butcher. Hey, the Butcher. Ain't nigga. no S on there, is it? Just one, just one butcher. Just one butcher. Yeah. Just one butcher. BB Butcher? <laughs> BB Butcher. <laughs> well, when I said Benny the Butcher, <laughs> when I said his project, Benny the Butcher's project, everybody can go. It's yeah. possessed. The S is possessed. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I ain't just putting the S on like price chopper. Like mixed meals and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, stupid yeah. when people do that. Pass yeah. me the bamboos. That is. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> there's only one meat meal. Chris, man, what you got, man? I'm first. It's not a white rapper though. Everybody, everybody, it's up. You so, got to be ready. I'm always ready. Okay, go ahead. I proper, stay ready, so I ain't got to get ready. Proper preparation not ready. prevents poor performance. Let's see what you got. The three P's. Five, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. All right, hold on. Let me pull up my notes. You got to give me time to pull up my man, notes. The notes app is up, dog. Don't be looking over my shoulder. Let me dim my. I've been brightness. looking at your shit the whole time. Just because you dim it don't mean I can't see it. No, I don't care. But anyways, let me pull up my notes. All right, so I'm starting this thing. All right. Benny the Butcher. Everybody can't go. Start off with the rating and tell us how you got there. Start with the rating? Yeah, tell us how you got there. Why you got to start with the rating? I want to build up to the I'm rating. I'm guessing Chris going to be start like Start with the rating point. and tell us how you got there. Right. Four. So my rating... For this out, we want to start for the rating, or bro. I just told you three times. Let's do it. All right, my rating is a nine point one. Okay, we got we got a nine. We got a nine. Tell us how we got there. Why why did we get the nine, brother? All right. Uh, so it's been two years since his last release. So reading the Apple notes. I've actually no. (laughs) This is my notes, but I've been anticipating this album. I for sure. I do like Benny the Butcher. I'm a fan of his. Um. Alchemist and Hit Boy on this. One so more was Derringer. It on this one? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think he was on this one. Derringer's on there. We'll All right. Going. Well, but obviously it was well produced album. Supreme. Um, I was a little bit disappointed it wasn't a J. Cole feature. I thought it was gonna be J. Cole on there. Just because um, of that one collab? Yeah. That song was great though. It was. Johnny this B. Song. Oh yeah, Johnny B's caddy's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's so I thought weird. like, you know. I don't know, run it back again, you know? So it should have been. Definitely would have even made this even better. Maybe maybe Benny can, the Butcher can be the first feature on a J. Cole album in years. Yeah. Who knows? J. J. Probably Cole's will. Different one. It He's probably will one. happen. Um, but uh, I guess uh, the Pyrex man, as he as he calls himself. Yep. Um, it was a nice, well-put-together album. Only 12 songs. So I feel like it wasn't watered down. I like every track on here. So really, there was no skips. Um, not that I added every song to my playlist, but all the songs were good. Um, but the best songs on there, um, I did enjoy Jermaine's Graduation. The intro is good intro. G- Germany. Um, yeah. His daughter's name is Germany. There we go. That one, mm, too. Okay. Um, but... Definitely good. I don't feel like any of his verses missed on this one. Uh, and then Braun, I heard that song before, so that was a good song. Yeah, I heard that good one. Good song. Mm-hmm. Uh, he switched up his flow a little bit on that song, which is cool. I liked it. Uh, always comes with the lyrics. And then we went to Big Dog. Lil Wayne's, Lil Wayne's verse was nice. I like. I thought it was cool. Lil Wayne dropped a nice verse. Um, good, good storytelling on TMVTL. Had a little, uh, you know, he tells his little stories on there. Good storyteller. Back again, I didn't really like Snoop on there. He just did the hook. That shit was terrible. It was. I feel like it was it was off a little bit. Um, 
I'm not. You know, it didn't match the sound of the album. It didn't. There you go. I didn't know what it was, but it I just, knew it just didn't feel it just right. Stuck out. It stuck out. Yeah, but um, he went. Uh, we, this was his, his first album on Def Jam, so he switched it up a little bit. I guess everybody's feeling like he went. Uh, he went commercial. Mainstream. On this. Mainstream. Yeah. Mainstream. That's what I was searching for. Mainstream with this album. Because this is Def Jam debut. So he's not under underground anymore. Which I guess he really wasn't anymore. Because people were learning who he was. Anyways. So, uh, One Foot In. Definitely probably my favorite song on there. Um, Stove God. I really like. Probably one of my favorite rappers. Stove God Cooks. Stove God is that dude. Um, definitely looking forward to a new album from him. Um, I didn't actually didn't know that that song was released before that. Keenan told me that today. So yesterday. Um, oh yesterday. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> One of them days. But uh, yeah, I didn't know that song's been out for a while. I wish I would have known that. Whatever, however long ago it came out. Uh, but that's definitely a good song. I like that song a lot. Um, and then uh, Amarni Caesar. Uh, she kind of that was kind of like her song, Buffalo Kitchen Club. Um, which was cool. I like kind of liked her verse on there a little bit. I wasn't familiar with her, but uh, she has been on his projects before. She's she's the first lady of yeah. Well, Florida. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, but like she's been cool in the past. But I mean, it is what it is. And then uh, pillow talk and slander. Obviously, Jada Kiss on that song. Jada Kiss killed it. Babyface Ray was all right to me. I'm not a big Babyface Ray fan, but he was cool. It, it's not like he killed the song or whatever. Uh, and then um, How to Rap is what it is. That was a cool little song. And then Griselda Express, uh, West Side Gun. <laughs> not one of my favorite, favorite artists. Your not favorite. one of my favorite artists. Your favorite. Uh, so, yeah. But that overall was a good track. Conway on there. Always like Conway. Uh, Rick Hyde. Good verse from him. And then ended out the album with Big Timers. I thought it was a decent song. Peasy. Good verse from him. So, it's cool. 9.1. Long review from me. 9.1. I like it. I enjoyed the album. Okay. Well put together. What you got, Lindari? So, on the chant. Well, I'm going to start off with Sack. On Gatis. the chant. Hold on. What? The chant. How did you become the chant? interrupt people? Like, we interrupting people? How did he become? He's the champ of the corner? That man can say whatever he wants. Exactly. That's my review, right? I gave it a seven and a half. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Seven and a half. Seven and a half for me. My favorite songs on here were probably uh, Everybody Can't Go, Pillow Talk, and Slander. I actually like How to Rap. I thought that was probably one of the better songs on here. When he talked about like, oh, now you're ready to build your team up and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I actually liked how being a butcher, like you never really get like any really trash shit from him. Like, I feel like uh, we did 21 Savage last week, and you get, like, some good bars. Then you hear, like, some crazy bullshit. Boy, and that shit sticks out to me now. I, I listened to the album the other day. He was like, you ain't the shit. You you just a fart. I'm like, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, like, you don't really <laughs> get he, that No, he here. didn't say fart. He said poop. I'm like, come on, bro. That sounds You get, like, it'd be crazy. like, okay, this is good, but it's never, like, that shit stupid as hell. No, he don't necessarily, he don't necessarily step out of his lane, but it's just, like, it should be good. It's just quality shit every time. And as far as people thinking he went mainstream, his sound. Is I don't. I don't wrong. hear it on here. I don't think like this is gonna be like. Oh, this is gonna be a radio all the time, unless they do like some serious editing on a lot of this shit. You'll never hear this on our radio. He I, nah, probably like uh, Sirius or XM or something. You like gotta that. have to go to XM to hear Benny the Butcher. This is ain't. They don't sound like that. Uh, he did switch his sound. A, well, I don't know if his sound, but his flow a little bit. The flow, yeah. I, yeah. I caught a couple, um, but. It was cool, but like it was cool to see from him. Yeah, I mean the the flows was cool. I mean, like it wasn't like a stretch. Like, like I'm begging for a little baby to change his flow. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> the world is begging. Every yeah. day. <laughs> Keep begging. Yeah, but he be going though. He, he be does. going, but I'm just like every, every some of the songs don't hit though. That's but what. Big Dog with Lil Wayne, I wasn't really a fan of Lil Wayne's part on that song. Uh, I thought it was kind of, you know, just kind of weak. She sucked on my cock of Spaniel. Like, come on, man, you better than that. No, that's but in that's, Blue House. That's yeah, about, that's right up Blue Wayne's house. house. I'm house, like, come bro. on, man, you got to do better than that now. And plus, he had the dog metaphors, you know, but going towards the 
big dog. In the it title, wasn't my so. favorite personally. Uh, the one with Snoop Dogg, like uh, I said when he was saying it, it just didn't sound like it. Like he probably sent that in. And I guess he didn't hear that what the song was gonna be because <laughs> that just didn't sound right. But Benny still killed that song. But beyond that, I thought the rest of it was pretty good. I thought some of it could have been a little bit better, but that's why I'm at a seven and a half. Like, uh, uh, what songs were lower on your ratings? Uh, Big Timers was was wasn't one of my favorites. Uh, Braun wasn't really one of my favorites either. <clears throat> they wasn't like bad songs, but you know, mm-hmm. it just wasn't like when I heard the Pillow Talking Slender, I was like, oh, yeah. okay. That's a good song right there. That'll be one I add to my playlist, Pillow Talk of Slender, and probably How to Rap. I think How to Rap is probably, let me think. I'll probably go How to Rap 1A, Pillow Talk of Slender 1B. Mm. I kind of like got a Jay-Z feel from that song. Which one? Oh, how to Rap. Wow. Like, I feel like that was like something All right, like, just, just shut up. You still uh, messed up my point. I just feel like that was like a song that Jay-Z would have kind of made. I don't, I mean, I don't know what y'all talking about. I, I thought it was a great song. Like, because the shit my, he was saying, I'm gonna give you my comparison. it's like, okay, you kind of telling how you came up, like, oh, I did this and this, then I did this, now I'm ready to build my team mm-hmm. up. But, yep, yeah, seven and a half for me. Take it away. Johnny. I thought you'd been a little higher than that, but that's okay. That's not bad. Go ahead, but... Johnny. What you got? You don't just give everybody an eight. Grind. No, I know, I understand that. And you know, I don't either. I don't. Here come this I usually eight. don't give high ratings. <laughs> Here come this eight. <laughs> nah, nah I like this. Oh, okay. Uh, I never really listened to like a whole Benny album. I can, you know, Johnny Peace Caddy, that mug, that's fire to me, mm-hmm. but Jermaine's on that. So, you know, it's it's hard to fuck that up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I like um I like the way Benny raps. Like to me, he's to me personally, he's the best one in Griselda. For sure. You know, and uh I feel like it's like he rapping, rapping, but it's not, it's still like gangster enough to where I'm like, this shit cool. Yeah. I like this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh hands down though, Pillow Talk and Slender was my favorite song. I was sitting here listening to that. And I was like, is that Thanos? Okay, so when I listened to this <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was Thanos. He was he was playing a game, wasn't looking nah, at the I was, I was just laying here, but I don't be looking at the songs when they play. And right, I just push right, play right. and let it go. And I just hear it. And I'm I'm sitting there, I'm laying down. You know, the couch be on the other side. Yeah. I'm laying down and that motherfucker. Wait a minute. Is that Thanos? <laughs> that is my nigga right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, so that was, yeah, was easily my first, my favorite yeah. song on there. Uh let me get back to it real quick. What's that? Was that Hit Boy on that that track? Uh, let me pull up. I'm not track. a big fan of Hit Boy either. That's mm, another thing. Nah, Hit Boy killed this shit. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. not bad, but uh, Alchemist really killed. Like, I feel like the Alchemist songs tracks were better on this one. But didn't so didn't we do a review Hit where Hitmaker did an album and Hit Boy did an album and we reviewed it was both those albums? Army. It was Music Soul Child and Yeah Tink. Yeah, and we reviewed both albums. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but Hit Boy used all but Hit Maker is like us. the king of R and B. Everybody can go. I really like that song too. Yeah, that song was good too. I skipped yeah. over that. I don't know how I skipped. I over really like that anyway. song too. Yeah, that song's good. Um, the Big Timer song finishing it, I was like, eh, it's all right. Um, correction, Derringer's not on here. I knew. Yeah, I didn't think he, he was. said he was going to be on there, but maybe he got. Maybe he'll be on the deluxe. It's just it was just Hit Boy and Alchemist. Alchemist. Yeah. yeah, it was like every other shit. Alchemist, Hit Boy, Alchemist, Hit Boy, Alchemist, Hit Boy. That's, that's what I and thought. Hit Boy was on... Um, Hit Boy was on Brian. Pillow Talking Slender. Everybody Can Go. Back Again, One Foot In. Pillow Talking Slender. Okay, How to Rap. Yeah. And Big Timers. Alchemist did the others. So, yeah. Big Timers. It could have been a better ending. Yeah, Big Timers was, it was cool. It was all right, but it was... But, it was, yeah. It was, it was a, uh, uh, it's just, for real, it just sucks that it came after Griselda Express. Yeah. Because I like Benny and I like... Um, Conway. 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 Yeah. I... I, re- I very yeah, much dislike Westside Gun. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and it was <laughs> off. Very like, much dislike that. Feel, he definitely didn't record that with them. I don't know. Which they I don't probably know. should because they but usually he's, do. He's but just, you think he messed the song up? But like it sucks that because that song was real. I feel like Griselda Express was really good. That would have been a great way to yeah. end. For that song to come after it, kind of you like, eh, you could have just ended with that one. So, but I gave it an eight point five. Oh. I thought it was really good. I, I rock with Benny, man. 
I feel like Amarni Caesar should have been on Griselda Express too. But well, she should have been being that she's on Griselda. But yeah. West Side mm-hmm. Gun is actually like when you look when you think of Cash Money, you think Juvenile, Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. Turk. That's anybody but Baby. That's their difference. So I feel like West Side Gun is like West Side Gun homie. is Griselda's baby. Nah, so Cash see, I feel like West Side Gun is like Derek. He's the nigga that runs the shit. Like Shout he out. like he like <laughs> you caught wait. <laughs> Shout out. West Side Gun is like Derek. Like he cool, but hold on, let me think. Is this the same like, person? West Side Gun is the light like, skinned dude with the we braids. We come kick it. We come kick it. You come kick it with us. You know what I'm saying? But you don't get to come to everything. He like he the head of the shit, bro. But it ain't you know. West it don't play out like that. A he, lot of people rock with West Side. What's up? Oh, yeah. My homeboy Cameron at work rock yeah. with West Side Gun. But a lot of people don't West like him. It's like he's... Either you like him or you don't. I because... hear good shit. If I can get a West Side album when they just forget to sit in the ad libs, it'd be nice. But that's part of his game. But like Benny and Conway are like, they're, I mean, they're they rapping, bro. Yeah, they, they rapping. Rap, rap. They're similar. Yeah. So West Side is their different thing to Griselda to appeal a different crowd, which is good. I, you know, that's smart. He's a cousin for them. of Benny the Butcher. Yeah. And that's smart for them. Like he's different, which pulls in other, you know, oh, other oh, fans. Oh. Benny and Conway, Shaq and Kobe, and it's Conway's Gun, brother, like, like Rick Fox. Cousin. Yeah, Rick Fox. Yeah. Oh, hey, why are you gonna pick another light skin <laughs> wavy nigga <laughs> like Rick Fox, bro? So yeah, yeah, I understand why he's in there. I'm just, I'm not a big fan of West Side. But okay, um, make it work. Eight and a half, though, yeah. man. I thought good. it was really good. good. I'm gonna listen good to this again, and I don't really do that with music, so. Uh, I like this a lot. Uh, we, I can I like probably already tell you what you gonna say. What's about it this gonna shit. be? Probably like a nine and a half. It's gonna be he a nine. It's gonna, gonna be a nine. Yeah, like, nine. I already it's gonna be know. A nine. No, no, no. Because I didn't. Is that okay. I figure if I like it a look, it if I like it, if I think okay. it's really good, like this nigga, this shit breaking the scale. <laughs> 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 so I actually went higher than nine point one. I love, I love music. I love music. I love hip fucking nine, Chris. Nine point one, man. It's in my notes. Because it's actually a notch higher. How do you go a notch higher than a nine? Nine and a half. A ten? That's y'all. Y'all scale is crazy. That's just crazy to me. I wasn't even listening, but anyway, yeah. I gave it a nine, bro. Uh, I like Bron a lot. Everybody can't go. Uh, TMVTL. Now I, was, I ain't gonna lie. When I was listening, I'm like Benny. You gotta let me know what this means. Is I? Yeah, I'm and then I caught the it, title. but I don't know what it is right now sitting here. Uh, yeah. I called it in a song. Yeah. Damn, I just got to hear the beat. Fuck, God damn it. I didn't. Nobody remembers. And you, like, I didn't like the song at first, but you got to go back and listen to the story. That's what it obviously is the story track. So uh, the second or third time I listened to the album, I liked it more. So. Valued the love. Valued the the love. It's, I don't, I don't remember, but it's a good, it was a good song. But anyway, um, yeah, back again was a little different. One for the end was one of my tops. Uh-huh. Buffalo Kitchen Club was cool. P- Pillow Talk and Slander was fire. Fire, fire. But my favorite track, so my favorite tracks, like 1A1B is like How to Rap and One Foot In. The beat on One Foot In is spectacular. How to Rap, though. How to Rap makes me, it, it, it feels like, are y'all familiar with Jay-Z's 1-900 Hustler? Mm-hmm. Nope. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not at all. So one nine hundred hustler, Jay, the the concept of the song is Jay Z starts a calling hotline, tells you how to set up shop and hustle wherever you at, and okay. they call in. And everybody gets it. Every every line is a different rapper, whatever, whatever. But this feels like that. Like, hey, look, I'm gonna tell you niggas how to get on, how to do this shit, and this is the blueprint to do what you need to do if you really want to rap. This is it. And the beat was fire. It felt like some two thousand Rockefeller shit. It was fire. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, the beat on one foot in was amazing, and I liked Bron too. I mean, I pretty much, I pretty much liked all the beats that Hit Boy did. Hit Boy, I, I liked I li- Hit Boy's production is really fucking good. Uh, Alchemist, I didn't like. Which one was it? This is actually the album that I didn't really listen to the production. Like none of the beats in my head I can remember. I'm like literally just listening before this nigga's rapping. Oh, you was into it then. Yeah. You was into it. Like I don't Yeah. It might have been it might have been T M V L T L the 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 beat that was that's that probably my least favorite beat on the album. But other than that, but that, it, that it was, was also a storytelling beat, so Yeah, but you know, that's not you, gonna be the craziest beat. You still storytelling on Benny's a storyteller, bro. So he's man, he's storytelling on everything. But 
um, that was the worst beat on there. And yeah, it was well produced. It was a great uh, introduction to the mainstream. I hope I hope he streams good with this, but it was fire. Um, it's it's as close to replacing Burden of Proof, which is another one of his albums he dropped probably like 2016, 17. And that was him and Hit Boy, and that one was really fire, really, really hmm. fire. But yeah, Benny's Benny's the man. So I like him. So I like it. Bravo, good job, Benny. Bravo. You didn't like let me down. Now, mm. who trivia. let you down recently that you think of? Twenty One Savage. I wasn't expecting a lot from him. I wasn't either. Like I wasn't either, but it's still trash to me. His so. features are always like I said that on there. On that episode, his features are always better. I don't even remember the last time we did one. What before? What twenty one seven? We did review. You felt like yeah, her long. No, I'm saying other reviews that we did before then of just twenty one seven. Just, just any review. anybody. What did we do before twenty one savage? Before I don't remember. I feel like that was the first one in a while. It might have been cartoon shit. I don't know. It was a while. That was, that was fantastic. Yeah. Kenan took a hiatus. <laughs> Who did? Kenan. Okay, whatever. Um, if you were to guess what Benny the Butcher's real name was is, what would you think it was? Bernard. Mm. Mm. Good guess. What you got? Uh, Benjamin. Something would it be, right? I'm going to go uh, like a Jeremy. I'm going to go. Uh... <laughs> Put your fucking phone down, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, it's his daughter is G- Germany. So. Yeah, his name is Jeremy. I, I don't I, I don't forgot what I looked him up for. Is Benny short saw, for Jeremy? This ain't like one of them Bill. I, I, really, Bill and I, Will. I, I, I don't mean, know. <laughs> I wanted to figure out. I wanted to figure out how he got his name. But that's some research for another day. Hmm. It was probably just like when he was young. Somebody was calling him Benny. Just off the, you know, just right, stuff. Boy, you, you be the way that's you chop random. him, boy. You the butcher, bro. That's random as hell. How you get Benny from that? A lot of people have like a nickname. They don't get shit to do with their name. I mean, that's true, but like. Benny yeah, is like, like a real name. Like, why the fuck they start calling you man? Yeah. I don't know. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's... He's man. <laughs> man. <laughs> what? Like, we should call him man. <laughs> what? I don't know. He's not woman, so we call him man. Uh, but yeah. That's yeah. it, y'all. Peace and love.